the 100th successful firing of the Thor missile, and it will carry into orbit a satellite even more remarkable than the recent Echo. Was a, has a five watt output and is connected uh, by a cable here that we can see running up to an overhead window. And uh, this is about a two foot square antenna in a little dish. And that antenna will radiate then outward above the spacecraft. And of course we will want to make sure the spacecraft then is oriented in such a way that that antenna is pointed in some direction uh, toward the earth. And then we can communicate from this transceiver out through the antenna and back again. T-minus 20 seconds, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 10. We have go for main engine start, 8, 7, 6. We have main engine start, 3, 2, 1, solid motor. Hi, I'm British East astronaut Tim Peake and I'll be starting my journey to the International Space Station in November this year where I'll be living for six months. I'm delighted to report that on board the space station in this Columbus laboratory there'll be an amateur radio where I'll be able to talk to schools in the UK as the space station flies over. I'd love it for you to join this program. I'll be using the call sign GB1SS and I'll be listening and standing by. Are you ready to take up the challenge and talk to me using the amateur radio from space? If so, go to the UK Space Agency's website where you can find out more information. These days, we're all communications experts, thanks to smartphones and the internet. So what makes the Fun Cube so special? 
It's the amateur radio concept of being able to talk to other people around the world, which has now been to a degree replaced by Skype and things like that. But there are still many, many people around the world who enjoy the challenge of using the ionosphere, which is a fairly random effect, natural effect, natural system, uh, rather than using a, a man-made network. The other main aim of the project is to spark an interest in science, engineering and maths among children. Schools will be able to buy an aerial and a tiny receiver to enable them to download information from the satellite up in space directly into the classroom computer back down here on Earth. GB3RS, GB3RS, Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Sierra, GB3RS. This project isn't about pushing back the boundaries of our scientific knowledge, but it is boldly going into the future via the next generation of space explorers.